and welcome back to the Express at the fourth annual Waterfront Yoga at Canada Place. Although the class happening behind me happens to actually be Pilates, these are karma classes. So the instructors volunteer their time and the folks donate to be here and we'll have more details on that coming up. But right now it's a woman who takes her yoga very seriously. She trains, she teaches, she competes. In fact, this 29-year-old Vancouverite has achieved worldwide recognition. And you're teaching the noon today? The noon today, yeah. Okay. What do you want to San Francisco for your training? Uh, I'm rolling out until September. I'm going to go to Montreal first. Mari Dickey loves yoga. This 29-year-old teaches at Bikram Yoga, takes daily classes herself, and also trains for competition on her own. And it's always different, and I think that's part of what I like about yoga in general, but yoga series, is that even if you're doing the same thing over and over and the same postures over and over, your body's always changing, your state of mind is always changing, so your practice is always changing. So it teaches you to be very present in what you're doing because you can't attach to what you want to do or what you thought you could do or anything like that because you're always moving and changing. Mari is a three-time Western Canadian Hatha Yoga champion and this year placed third in the world at the International Yoga Asana Championship. I started training for competition just because I wanted to spend more time doing yoga. So it's kind of like, okay, if you do 90 minutes or two hours, three hours of yoga and you still want to do more yoga, what else can you do? You can train with other people that want to do more yoga. And the competition is just basically a way to demonstrate what you spend all your time doing. Grab your right foot with your 10 fingers interlaced underneath the foot, just behind the toes. As a competitor and as a teacher, she's an inspiration to all to the students. To you know what, what the the foundation of what the yoga competition is is to to create awareness of yoga that it's it's not just any one thing, but it, it encompasses you know a lifestyle and a, and a, a life practice, and she really embodies that. Mari spends down. more time in the hot Bikram yoga studio than uh, probably cool. any yoga teacher or student. I teach typically 12, 13 classes a week, plus I lead advanced, um, which is while I'm teaching and doing it at the same time, usually two or three times a week, plus I practice my own beginner class six, six days at least a week, and then any other training on top of that. For competition and just practicing is anywhere from like an hour to two hours just depending on the day so it ends up spending a lot of time in the heat but more time in the heat is what will ensure mari's continuation as canadian champion and eventually maybe world champion and then the more you do it the more you're like oh this is just yoga you know and if i can do something and have people watch that and make them want to be a part of that or to try yoga or to do whatever it is that they do or that they're passionate about more then that's Awesome, and that's what you know. That's why I do it. In Vancouver, I'm Kendall Harris for the Express. The folks at the International Yoga Asana Championship are lobbying to make yoga an Olympic sport. And if that happens, Mari may be a member of Team Canada. So good luck to her and good luck to them. You know, just like there's so many different styles of yoga, obviously there are lots of different reasons for doing it. Moksha, it means liberation and freedom. And at Moksha Yoga, it's more than just a series of postures. It's about a worldwide community who's working together to make a better future. Forward on an inhale. From downward dog. Then you can bring your leg to 90 degrees. To warrior pose. You're sitting in a chair cross-legged. To whatever this is, yoga is a popular way to strengthen your body and your mind. But this is no typical class. We're about to turn up the heat because this is hot yoga. We get the muscles really limber and the heart rate a little bit higher and just a little bit more detoxifying. This is Moksha Hot Yoga in East Van, a brand new studio run by two friends turned business partners. We always say that it's the healthiest relationship, romantic or otherwise, that we've ever had in our lives. <laughs> the classes here are open to beginners, <clears throat> all the way to the most seasoned yogi. The instructors start right where you are. So you're lifting in your belly and then they help you build and they help you refine your form and just move forward. And if you're feeling a little lost, there's always someone to look to for some help. It's a practice, so every day is different. Every day your body is different. With temperatures in the 30s, let's face it, a big part of hot yoga is the schwitzing. 
best way the body can detoxify is through breathing and through sweating. I have never, ever, ever sweat so much in my entire life doing any kind of exercise. And, and there are right. showers in here, right? There are amazing showers in here, yeah. In fact, the showers and the entire yoga space from the bamboo floor to the clay walls reflect this duo's commitment to green building practices. We try to go as eco-friendly as we can. But beyond the green design and the health benefits of detoxing, Monique and Mary Eve want to build a sense of community. And they want everyone here to feel welcome. We do Tuesday cake day. We do yoga and then we eat a cake and we drink tea. We just bend and fold and try to find a little peace. <laughs> I'm Bianca Salterbeck in Vancouver for The Express. Namaste. The website is mokshayoga.ca for a full list of classes at the East Van Studio. There are actually 60 studios globally, and my friend Leah Emmett, who we featured earlier on the show of Inner Fire Creations, well, she teaches at Moksha in Burnaby. You're watching The Express, and we've got more ways to get you in the Zen Zone coming up. Oh. The call of the Kundalini at Shala Yoga in Squamish. If you feel good, you want to take that with you. Getting beginners on the mat at Off the Mat in Chilliwack. The Express. We are your local voice. The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward. Be part of a winning team. Army Cadets is a great place for young adults interested in making the great outdoors their classroom. For more information on this exciting and free program in Surrey, White Rock, Vancouver, Seashell, Port Coquitlam, Langley or Delta, call 778-837-9093 today. Welcome back to the Express at the fourth annual Waterfront Yoga at Canada Place. Now, as we mentioned earlier, it's actually Pilates happening behind us right now, but the intent is the same. These are karma classes by donation, and the money raised goes towards the Strathcona Food Security for Children program. So there, that's a huge benefit of yoga, a community coming together. Another benefit, of course, stretch in all your joints and your muscles out. But you know, it's about so much more than that. As you'll see in this next story, it's not just about exercise, it's about a practice. Supporting your spine and strengthening your core. What you learn on your mat, you want to take it with you. If you feel good, you want to take that with you and you want to share it with everybody else. It starts in the studio and extends outward to the rest of the world. The curiosity surrounding the practice of yoga is what originally captured Christy Waitman's interest, but she carries on to continue the benefits. It's body awareness. I've always had an issue with um, self-esteem and um, being very self-conscious and it just helped me understand my body and be comfortable in my own skin. Yoga can provide a sense of well-being, clear your perspective on life, and give you time for yourself. Body awareness, that connection to, to breathing and being present, um, which is so lost, I think, in our day and age. It's just all about, you know, materialism and, and things. It's connection to self, I think. I think as much as anything, when you come to the mat, when you come to a class, you're really connecting with that inner self. It's, it's mo so much more than just, you know, the asanas, so much more than just the physical practice. But besides the mental benefits, yoga can also extend physical advantages as well. It can be a great cross-training exercise. I know a lot of people who like to run and lift weights, and it uh, is a great complement to those things, the extra flexibility, different kind of strength, and also learning how to breathe. After hearing all of these enhancements from doing yoga, I thought I should at least attempt one simple pose for an extreme beginner like me. We'll step out wide, and if you actually bring your arms up, you can line up your wrists with your ankles so you've got a good wide distance. So you can bring your arms down and turn your right foot towards me. Your back foot stays on that sharp edge. So scooping the tailbone down, press the belly button back, and then tilt your hips to the left. So creating lots of space down the right side of your body. Reach your arms from your heart, and then reach forwards past your toes, and hinge from your hips, come down, bring your hand to your shin, and then take your gaze up towards your left hand. Keep pulling the belly button back, keep leaning back a little bit to lift your gaze, and keep your heart open. Watch your front knee that you don't lock it. And then through an inhale, come back up. 
Never base your opinion on your very first class. You'll always give it a couple more shots. Sage advice for those who think yoga isn't for them. And after practicing for eight years and teaching for three, Christy still craves more from the discipline that's already given her so much. I feel like yoga, it almost creates curiosity to keep going, to keep learning about your body and about what's, what's happening. You know, you have this transformative body work happening on your mat and it, I don't know, it just builds this curiosity. In Chilliwack, I'm Tiffany Gurdon for The Express. Christy teaches at Off the Mat Yoga in Chilliwack, power classes and Hatha classes. And as we just saw, she loves to work with beginners. So if you've never tried a class, that would be a great place to start. Now, how about trying a form of yoga that's less popular, but just as powerful, or maybe even more so? We're checking back in with Nicole Fitzgerald in Whistler Village, and you're gonna get ready to help us awaken our kundalini. Almost sounds dangerous, as it were. Well, Johanna, think of kundalini yoga like your morning caffeine hit. It energizes you, it revitalizes you, and it wraps up with an Irish folk song. Oh. generally only use about 20% of our lungs. Eighty percent of our lung capacity in the Western world is unrealized, a closed door. But as the saying goes, when one door closes, another opens, and this one faces east. Even in a short class, an hour and a half long in a kundalini practice, you'll get into full breathing, as most yogas do and tend to. Kundalini will make sure that that happens. Kundalini yoga, it's not your typical studio practice. Instructor Robert Blair and his partner Nola share this gift every month at Shala Yoga in Squamish. There are five components to the structured class, including a mantra, warm-up, meditation, breathing and kriya. Kundalini yoga is based on Hatha yoga, it's a derivation, but it has a more specific focus by nature where it addresses the whole of human existence, not just physical, but also the emotional, the psychological, the energetic body. So on. Oh. The practice is foreign in more ways than one. The breathing felt odd and so different from the everyday. If a person were to study only breathing or pranayama, they would have a lifetime education. But this one that we were doing is called Agni Fire or Breath of Fire. And what we do is we totally release your belly, and then you just use your diaphragm to pull in. So it's almost as if you never breathe in, you're just breathing out. What at first felt weird soon became wonderful. We feel a little bit more alive, and we move a lot more of what we collect in our bodies, toxins. We basically pump things through our body a lot more effectively. It stimulates your digestive system, everything else. What we do is condense all the possible needs of movement of the human body into a short period of time so that in our sedentary lifestyles, we can go to a class and basically supercharge our whole system. Like a triple espresso, core stimulating kriyas set our bodies on vibrate. The class itself is a lot of drawing in energy. My body was buzzing, um, vibrating um, with breath and, and movements. We do a lot of focus on the breath. Unusual to the end, the practice wraps up with an old Irish folk tale. There's a lot to learn about how the practice is done in the West, so somehow that got put in there. We finish with long time sun. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way home. East or west, just follow your breath. From Squamish, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Shaw TV. Kundalini classes are offered at Shala Yoga in Squamish and Yama Yoga in Whistler. You can also find classes here in Vancouver and around the rest of BC. Remind you too that Waterfront Yoga here at Canada Place runs through to September the 13th every Tuesday and Thursday at 5.15. It's by donation and the proceeds go to Strathcona's Food Security for Children program. That's it for today's Express Yoga special. We hope we helped you find your Zen Zone. Thanks for watching the show only on Shaw TV.